Vancouver City Central Transmission Project is the most significant transmission investment that BC Hydro has made in the City of Vancouver in over 30 years. It consists of a brand new indoor substation and uh, two transmi underground transmission circuits to feed supply to that substation. Both the substation and the transmission line is being built to serve the expected demand over the next 30 or 40 years and also because the residents and businesses in this neighborhood are currently served by facilities which are over 50 years old and reaching the end of their service life. So uh, it will not only meet the growing demand but it will increase the reliability of service to uh, residents and businesses in this neighborhood and it will increase the reliability of services to the city of Vancouver generally because the transmission circuits which we are building for this project um, provide a vital link between the north and south halves of the city. The Mount Pleasant substation is being built as a post-disaster facility. That means it not only has to um, survive an earthquake and allow people to exit the building, but it actually has to continue to function as intended after an earthquake. So uh, as a result, um, we have to make the, the structure itself stronger. All of the walls are at least two feet thick. We have over 12,000 cubic meters of concrete in this facility, and although we only have essentially three stories above grade, there's as much concrete in this facility as in a, a typical 20-story residential tower. This has been a, a challenging project to build because we're building it in a relatively dense, mixed urban and commercial environment. As a result, we've done a lot of uh, consultation with uh, businesses and residents in the neighborhood. We keep them informed about what we're doing. We started almost two years before we started any construction and uh, by keeping residents informed and as they let us know how we're impacting them, where there are things we can do to minimize our impact, we do that. When it initially comes into service, it will be providing about half the capacity it's designed for and then as the demand increases we add more and more equipment until it reaches full capacity. It's also fully expected that as the equipment we install in this facility reach end of life, we then would replace it with new current technology equipment uh, and the substation would continue um, to serve uh, into the future.